Hi fellow reefers. Today I thought I'd uh, tell you what kind of salt I use. As you notice uh, right here I'm using the uh, Red Sea Pro. Uh, why do I use this salt? I use it because this salt, when they manufacture the salt, they inject extra calcium and magnesium into it. So every time I do the salt mix and I employ it in my nano cube, uh, when I check my primers, they're always in check. Magnesium, calcium, alkalinity, pH are always in check simply by doing the water changes with this salt. There is uh, other salts. You have aqua vitro, which is a high-end salt also. You have tropic marine, you have uh, reef crystals. All those salts are great. Matter of fact, the pet shop that I go to, they use tropic marine. Why? Because the tropic marine salt comes in bags, in huge bags. I think they're like 50 or 100 pounds each. Uh, they cannot afford this uh, salt to fill up, can you imagine, two, three, four, or five thousand gallons of water, it wouldn't be cost effective for them. Now one other topic that I want to talk about as you're seeing is the hydrometer. I'm using presently the hydrometer, but I really don't recommend it, it's not that accurate. At the beginning it is, I will admit it is accurate, but the best way to go is with a refractometer. The refractometers, uh, you just put a couple of drops of your salt and it's very, very accurate. There's been cases, and I've seen them in YouTube, where they check the uh, salt with the refractor meter and the hydrometer, and there is a discrepancy. So to play it safe, the way to go is with the refractor meter, not a hydrometer. But if you're in a budget, you can go with a hydrometer, knowing that there is going to be some discrepancy. And like I said, in the near future, I do plan to get a refractor meter. Well, uh, now, uh, if you have a little more time, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take you to my laundry room and I'm going to show you the RODI system that I use. Okay, here we are on my laundry room. Uh, this is the system that I use. It's made by Buckeye. I did some research and yeah, you have uh, other makes that are mainly just for the hobby. This company, Buckeye, go ahead and uh, check them out, Buckeye.com. Uh, this company, they really are geared for industrial use type of filtrations. So this is like a higher end type of, uh, of uh, filter medias. So that's why I decided to go with a uh, Buckeye. If you notice on the upper left hand corner, I have a TDS monitor. I have that set up so when I turn on the valve, the water valve, I check the in and see what's the TDS uh, reading and then I check the out. Always knowing and keeping in mind that it, the out should be always zero, zero TDS. That means that the filtration system, the membrane and everything is doing its job. You always must keep it on zero. If it, go, if it starts to go up, it's time to change the filters. So I thought I'd bring that up. And then finally, what I want to show you is the uh, jugs that I use uh, to store my salt water. Okay, these here are the jugs that I use. These are the regular um, gasoline jugs that you get at Lowe's or, or um, Home Depot, they're five gallons each. I've never used them for anything else, just for salt water mixes. And then what I do is I have a 10 gallon tank that I prepare my water here in the laundry room. So I go ahead, I prepare it, I measure it, and then I keep them in these two uh, reservoirs, Charles would call them. And then from here is where I go ahead and I, when I uh, take the water out, the 10 or 15 percent that I take out from the tank, I go ahead and I replenish it with the water that's already been mixed here on these jugs. So I thought I'd show you that and I do want to thank you.